Okay, we are here at uh, OFC 2019 at the eOptolink booth and with me I have uh, Dirk Lutz, uh, Technology Advisor for eOptolink's uh, management. Uh, Dirk, uh, you are showcasing your latest 400 gig data center transceivers. Can you talk about eOptolink's readiness for 400 gig? Sure, I can. Yes, we are ready. Uh, during the last year, the ecosystem for the subcomponents of the 400 sheet transceiver got established. Now we have frozen our design for the 400 sheet transceivers and we already have a production line for high volume production in place. So what we are offering are 400 sheet DR4 transceivers for transmission distances of, uh, of up to 500 meters. 400G FR4 transceivers for transmission distances of up to 2 kilometers. And soon we also can offer 10 kilometer FR LR4 transceivers. So, and Dirk, I see you support both form factors, the QSFP DD and also the OSP, uh, OSFP form factor. Can you talk about some of those advantages of the different form factors? Yes. So the OSFP form factor seems to be slightly larger. It has the heatsink integrated in the mechanics. This results in a higher power dissipation of the transceiver and it can support simply higher powers. The QSFP DD form factor is backward compatible. So this means the cages can support both 400G QSFP DDs, 200G QSFP DDs and 100 GQ SFP 28s. Okay, very good. So here we see a special demo of your 400 gig FR4 data center transceiver. You obviously have good performance because you demonstrate your transceiver performance with a calibrated stressed eye. Can you tell us a little bit about the feedback that your customers have on this demonstration? Yes, sure. Our customers are very impressed by the demonstration because we can prove to them that we are fully compliant to the IEEE standard. For us and them, it is very important that we do this by an externally calibrated system. Okay, very good. And maybe I walk a little bit through the demonstration and how it works. So what we see here basically is that we have a, a stressed bit pattern uh, where we add some noise from an arbitrary waveform generator. The bit pattern we uh, uh, produce with our uh, pattern generator. So we combine the stressed bit pattern with the noise that we add and then feed it into our reference transmitter where the signal is converted from electrical to optical. Then we have an attenuator in the path and then the signal goes to a switch where we can either switch it to the DCA for calibration or we directly feed it into the device under test. And then we have an electrical output from the device. It goes into the clock recovery, into our error detector. And uh, this setup here is demonstrating FR4, 400 gig FR4 transceivers. But of course, we can automatically calibrate any stress for any of the standards, if that is DR4, FR4, LR4, so that uh, you know, our customers have a calibrated system and a very easy and automated way to achieving that uh, calibration. And, and Dirk, one final question. So it, it looks like eOptolink is ready for 400 gigs. So how do you see the market timing and the broader ramp of 400 gig uh, in the data centers? What we are experiencing at the moment is we are qualifying our transceivers at the customers. Mm -hmm. The process takes about six months. So by the end of the year, we will see the ramp up for the data center transceivers for 400G. Okay, very good, very impressive, Dirk. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.